We're recording. Yeah. I can't. I can't. What is this? What just happened? What was the point? Uh, None. No, no point. No point at all. (sighs) Um, The show realized it was shit. Yeah. Realized it was going nowhere. Tried to say, well, actually, it's just about Jen's life. So they scrap what they're doing, which is just insane anyway. Right. Do a, the the most embarrassing fourth wall. And of course, get yourself, Jessica Gow, inserted into your own show because you're a narcissist. Just literally, yeah. And then say, this is my life, when it's not, because the show has shown that's not your life at all. Yeah. You're a drunken whore. You're not a family girl who uh who who loves her parents and and likes family and and you push family away the whole show exactly none of it's real was this a hard pivot is this what they're trying to do i it's like they identified it as trash and then just went full on into it like yeah it the show sucks I'm going through every one of them. There aren't enough. There aren't. Well, there, I could have brought more. <laughs> the reason I stopped at three was I would like not to have a heart attack today. Ideally. I'm yeah. Saving that for Christmas of next year. Oof. Oh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the She Hulk finale with you. I'm your host, as joined as ever by the wonderful. <laughs> Beautiful cis hetero white male Jane Theory. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh Jane, I was not prepared. I made sure I didn't watch any videos about the leaks. I yeah. I did and I, I didn't uh, believe it. Well, I saw like C3PO was shocked, drunk 3PO was shocked. Um, shout out because he won't do anything to boost his channel. <laughs> he relies on me others um and gary i saw that they discussed it yesterday yeah but i i didn't want to watch that video because i didn't want to i really want to watch these videos now i really want to watch drunk 3po's video and gary's video to see if if it all married together and what i'm still in shock i'm still in shock that that they actually did it Ah, uh, I know, I know. The audience is what who's watching this is just like, "Whoa, what did they do? What did they do?" We'll get to it. Don't you worry. Oh my we'll god, we'll get to it. But I, I am, you know, I, I've said in this series, I've, I've been embarrassed watching this. Yeah, at time, you know, it's like, like legit embarrassed. Um, jeez, if you are not embarrassed as somebody involved in this project right now, there's something wrong with you. And I also think. <laughs> I really want a season two because I want to. I want to buy a house. Where they decided that this is what they were going to do. That this was the direction they were going to take. Okay. She-Hulk. Okay. All right. Can I play a little game with you? Please, a superhero Jane? show. What did they do? What do you? What did they do? How? How? What? How do you? How do you? Sum up in a in a in a you know few sentences. How, what did they do this episode? It's almost as if they completely deconstructed it. I mean, what little there was that they had put together in the form of a setup. A setup that didn't make a lick of sense. It didn't, not only did it not make sense, it didn't happen. Whatever they were building towards, assuming they were building towards something, nothing came of it. They couldn't conclude the show. And so they decided, you know what? We're just not going to. We're not even going to try. We're just going to have her complain about the show. Today, the, the plot, show. the characters. And then 
create an ending which didn't marry together with any of the show. Right. Well, I guess we're going to have to be specific now because the people are they're like, what? They're not going to believe it. <sighs> right. Um, let me... Uh, I apologize for what is probably going to be massively prof uh, profanity-ridden episode. Oh. Right, first of all, how dare you? Oh, my God. How dare you? Mo well, because it was mocking. Mock a wonderful show that is fucking ten times better than your shit. A million, more than ten. This is oh. So you know they they do the beginning to the um to the David Banner mm -hmm. Hulk series you know the Bill Bixby and uh, I I you know this isn't even funny. It's like they're mocking that entire era of television too. It's the past that they mock the foundation. Of everything they've ripped off is what they're mocking. Dear viewer who is watching right now, I'm going to save a little bit of time. <laughs> the show set up the villain to be YouTubers. Yeah. YouTubers that, that criticize the show, or, well, YouTubers that criticize terrible shows mm -hmm. and uh if you criticize terrible shows we're gonna come for you it was at least like a threat from marvel if you criticize us we're gonna start coming for you right uh come for us you fucking pathetic shits <laughs> she hug you're stupid you're stupid oh, that's about it oh. This is to the audience. This is directed to the audience. Yeah, this is this is directed to anyone who thinks the show is an amaze balls, which is probably ninety percent of the audience. Right. <sighs> I'm speechless right now. Just, I, I cannot, I cannot believe, I mean, I cannot believe what we just watched. Everyone's just like, wait, they normally crack jokes and are funny. Ah. Uh, okay. How, how? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're both. <laughs> you mean to tell me. This multi-million dollar studio mm -hmm. that has resources could have come up with anything mm -hmm. in terms of a story, plot, their audience, <sighs> whatever. Could have done anything. Decided mm -hmm. that YouTube, Twitter, critics yep. of their shows yep. of what they're doing in this era Mm -hmm. of the MCU, as, as Gary calls it, mm -hmm. are so on their mind that they developed an entire series. A TV show. Geared toward attacking us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I don't, I don't want to insert too much here, but remember that? I don't know if you do remember, but there was a phase when the show was announced, mm -hmm. and obviously we'd seen what was coming, and Gary had coined the phrase MCU, and mm -hmm. then we heard about Dana Schwartz was going to be a writer, and you know her profile, her Twitter profile was just, men are trash! Right. Oh my god, men are trash. Am I right? Men are, you know, just full of misery. Mm -hmm. So we just, so we, you know, would rib her on Friday night tights. During the show, she 
blocked us all <laughs> during a show. <laughs> during a show. And I'm just thinking to myself, when they were putting everything together, do you think there was a point where they were just like, oh my God, you know, we just like, they've, we just got this empowering women show. And then like, these guys are like, oh my God. So I think it'd be really funny if we were just like, oh my God. Oh, absolutely. <sighs> That's what happened. This one's crushed already. <laughs> Talk about living rent free. Oh, in there <laughs> in primo real estate. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm gonna start picking out furniture. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna have a dip in the pool later. Absolutely, Marvel literally created a show to shit on fans. This is where we are. <sighs> I don't know why I'm surprised. I, I, I shouldn't be shocked. <clears throat> I, I'm surprised. Well, you're surprised. I'm surprised. And I think we're surprised because uh, we're, we're pretty normal human beings at the end of the day. You know? And these people aren't. They, they are live not. In a, they live in a complete fucking fantasy world uh, where they're stabbing each other in the back. Mm hmm getting uh, murdered, uh, raped, um, sexually assaulted, uh, pedos. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're living in this this wonderful land. <sighs> and they take everything, everything so seriously, everything to heart. Uh, they think that anyone that disagrees with them is a Nazi. Yeah. Not, not is wrong. Not, you know... Ah, uh, I don't, I don't like their opinion. No, is a is a is a Nazi? Mm -hmm. They throw around the white white supremacist. All of this, they they throw around all this language, which is just so beyond hyperbolic, right? That you can't take them seriously. And so, whenever you do get called your Nazi, your your, your white supremacist, your this, your that, because you said, do you know what? Black Widow was fucking shit. Right. Uh, but they take it, per like you said, they take it personally. It's like a personal attack. They don't understand the concept of constructive criticism. Because you're attacking their ego. They are ego driven. Uh, not, not once in this series have I seen any actual love and affection for the character of She Hulk. You know. Or Jen Walters or superheroes. What I have seen is a drunken whore mm -hmm. who's terrible at a job uh, that by the end of episode nine, they say, actually, she's a really lovely family girl who just wants to settle down with the right man. And no. No. You're a drunken whore. That's what you are. You spent all your time drinking Drunk most episodes. Mm -hmm. Fuck three guys in four episodes. Because episode I think four was the Tinder one. Yeah. One on the first date. Because he wouldn't he he, he would shut up and, and say, let's 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 talk about you. That was enough to get your fucking knickers off. That was it. That was it. And then Josh, she they pretended to go to the three date rule, but you know, she was gagging from the moment she fucking met him. Cause again, he gave her a compliment <laughs> and then daredevil who said, look, I'm going to go back to hell's kitchen, but next time I'm in town, let's go out for a meal. Let's get mm -hmm. to know each other. And she went, no, no, I'm a fucking whore. She didn't care about you, that. <laughs> you don't have to waste your money on a meal. You know, when you come back, I will fuck you right now. And yeah. she did. Who cares about a relationship? She didn't. She didn't. And it has but, been them all along. This has been a self-insert now. I mean, this is confirmed. Mm. As if it wasn't obvious before. Folks, there's a part in this episode where she literally um, leaves her 
fourth walls out of her world and comes into our world and goes to the the She Hulk writer's room with Jessica Gao. <sighs> they make themselves look as pathetic as they are. I don't think they realize, Jane. Someone I think they them. thought that was amazing. Do you Somebody know what did. I thought? Do you know what I thought? As what? soon as she walked into the into the writer's room and on the wall it's like episode zero, you know, seven and yeah. and it had all the post-it notes. I bet they thought, oh my god, everyone's gonna see the post-it notes and see all the ideas that we put together. No. 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 But I can now understand what happened. I see now why this show was trash. Looking at the people in the room. The people in the room and the pathetic attempt at putting together a show that was on the wall. But there, there was no show. Right. <laughs> YouTubers are bad. Uh, we have no ending. There are so many characters. I'm like, what happened to them then? <sighs> Did they just not have a purpose at all? You mean like Todd was it? Who was gay? Yes. Of course. Gary, he was gay. Told you. Uh Todd who was gay, he was he was a he was a um a latent homosexual. Pug, whose name we learn. What that's the first time I knew his name. I know. He's named after a dog. Good boy. No, seriously. Good boy, because Nikki, who, by the way, I wanted to shove a grenade up every orifice she fucking has <laughs> to blow that thing apart. Just, just talk. She was talking to him like trash. Yes. I would say, hey, hey, Nikki, 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 fuck off. And he has a new personality. He's now, well, he's kind of reverted back to his map of the female to best toilet to poo in. He, yeah, he's back to that guy, but with a weird accent. It's a, it's a weird voice that he has now. God, I'm <laughs> it's like they've merged mm. one of his other variants into this one. Let's be honest. He wasn't the focus of being given a character. He was a man. Yeah, that was it. He was a man who they said in the show was basically there to look pretty. They forgot he was supposed to be a lawyer. Uh, everyone forgot they were meant to be lawyers. <laughs> I know people are just like, you're all over the place. Welcome to the episode. That Welcome was the, the yeah. Welcome to the episode. Yeah. So, uh, <sighs> oh, God. Oh my god. Oh, you see, you have all these great YouTubers. I'm not a great YouTuber. You have all these great YouTubers do all this snappy editing, you mm -hmm. know, so that so the video just flows and people are like, you know, they don't lose their attention, so they stick to the video and they, you know, they I I I can't do that. I need to, I need people to see to see the pain. <sighs> I need them to see the pain. This they have was to. <laughs> How long was this episode with the uh credits and opening cut off, do you know? I don't even know. Okay, we don't care, do we? We had an in credit scene. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Which was still <laughs> yeah, they had an incredible. Scene. I just, I just. So Wong is now a felon. One fugitive. Ah. Uh... I've looked at this pink. By the way, I'm going to throw this to you. Tell me what you think. Michelle yeah. Obama. Eh. 
Maybe, I guess. She's an attorney. Do you, know what, do you know what we didn't find out? What? That she was married to a woman. We didn't. No. Well, they didn't care about her character either, I guess. <laughs> no, she's black. Yeah. <laughs> she's just there to be the smart black woman, I guess. Yeah. She's the, uh, she's, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, In any other show, she'd be the detective. Uh, smart black woman presenting, but we don't need to go into. Yeah, no detail. Character, no. Yeah, no backstory. Look, we had a smart black woman, aren't we? Great. Yeah. Check a box. <sighs> then we got. Oh, fuck off, Nikki. So. Jen is in the same prison that Abomination was in because they didn't have a lot of money for this. Yeah. And uh, she's also got an inhibitor attached to her. And as part of her plea? As part, well, we haven't quite got there yet because she's there going, we need to find out who made targeted attacks on me. Who are these? And, and they were just like, no, we... Quite rightly, actually, they were like, "No, we need to sort your fucking issues out." Yeah, you've been arrested. You, you've been arrested and nearly killed people. <laughs> Destroyed all sorts of property. Yeah, and she's getting away scot free for for reasons. For reasons, yeah. What for? What? Uh, I'm sure that um, let's say you and I were dating, right? And I'm in the middle of a, a supermarket, and you call me up and go, uh, "As uh, f you, you, why am I? Why am I with you? You're a fucking idiot!" <laughs> Bye. Uh, and and you dump me in the middle of the supermarket, and then I start picking up shit from the supermarket and fucking throwing it everywhere and trashing TVs and stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, do you think the judge will say, "Well, you did get dumped. No. You did get dumped, so we'll let you off." No, that's not how that works. No, it's not, is it? It's not. She wants so much accountability for everyone but herself. That's what it is. <sighs> yes, she always she talks about accountability, accountability, mm -hmm. accountability. Doesn't not for her though. No. No. She's right. She's justified. Because <laughs> she's a white <laughs> woman. White women, wop, 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 wop. Please shut the fuck up. But she does. She goes full Karen later on in the episode. She is the Karen. She is the epitome of a Karen. <laughs> she wants consequences for everyone but herself. She doesn't take responsible for her own behavior. Yeah. She's di she's dismissive. She's disrespectful. Mm. Well, but you're the, the problem. To me, hmm? you're the problem now. She's she's a major problem. <laughs> she's she's a, 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 a lawyer of the year, working in a in a, one of the biggest law firm, if not the biggest law firm in LA, or mm -hmm. you know maybe even the whole West Coast or, or America for all we know. Uh, heading heading up a division, and she's broke. How did that happen? Where's your money, Jen? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where it is. You drunk and hoard it all away. <laughs> she literally has been moving in with her parents. Yeah, I know. Within like what? A day. Within, the, yeah, <laughs> within a day. I'm out of money. How? Where did it go? Fucking hell, even DSP could have more money than that. <laughs> And he's a degenerate oh. gambler. Oh. This monster ripper <laughs> is like nectar. Ambrosia. <laughs> right now. I'm sure it is. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so she's like, oh, we need to find out who said things about me on the internet. You are a slut. It's the show true. has shown you to be a slut. The facts were accurate. Yes. 
<laughs> now, admittedly, you know, they got them in a way which wasn't so nice. But, okay, but there are laws that they broke that I'm sure are under investigation. Like, oh, in the present Jake, tense, they have to worry about her charges. Sorry, Jake. Can we just go into a, a major, major kind of what the fuck? <laughs> Intelligentsia is a secret website yeah. that's shitting all over She-Hulk. By the way, um, us YouTubers, Jane... By the way, Jane, your content recently has been fucking awesome subscribe to jane theory thank you it's it's not to be missed uh melanie mack as well she's been doing some really good stuff mm -hmm. subscribe to melanie yeah. mack uh support your female fucking content creators in this marketplace uh because these lot these lot fucking won't so <laughs> intelligentsia is a website set up to 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 to, to, to you know find out information about she hulk by the way mm -hmm. youtubers we just look, look, camera, camera on, face, camera on, face, posted on a YouTube channel for all. No, don't hide in the dark here. <laughs> and you know they they just oh she hooked into this, she hooked into that. You know ah she's a cow, she's a this, she didn't, she doesn't deserve to have her powers, all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Jen, who's a massive whore, uh. Sets up a Tinder profile mm -hmm. as She Hulk. Yes. Because she wants to fuck. She's DTF. Basically, yeah. Because she's like, Jane, uh, uh, not Jane, sorry. Jen doesn't get the attention that I want. Even though in episode one, I cried. When I say cried, I mean Karen. <laughs> I Karen about, uh, you know, sick of being cat called. Mm hmm. Uh, I control my anger. She's a liar. She's now been proven to be just a complete fucking liar, by the way. Right. Uh, so, because Jen, who gets catcalled and she hates it, doesn't get attention that she wants. Uh, she, okay. she goes to She-Hulk. She goes out on these blind dates, which she has, well, you know, selected dates. She's swiped right or whatever. Right. Uh, on the people that she's seen, that the algorithm of the app has matched together with one of them just so happened to be the owner of Intelligentsia who was trying to fucking destroy She-Hulk. Right. <laughs> he, who's gay, uh, decided to put himself on a dating app. The contrivance. The contrivance. The Contrive. It doesn't make any sense. No. They don't care how they get to point B from point A. <laughs> I heard, by they the way. They just have their if... message and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they are, they are bulldozing their message through mm -hmm. a brick wall with no, um, no care and attention for like a bull in a china shop for all the plot and connective tissue and yeah. sense and characterization that you should be doing they're just like no uh the youtuber but they expose that when we saw the writer's room and for every episode it's a handful of sticky notes there was no connection stay there. there stay there i don't know if you you uh can confirm or deny this I heard, I don't know if this is 100%, folks. I heard, you know, the 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 uh, child doctor guy, child cancer doctor, mm -hmm. who she bangs because he says, I want to talk about you. Yeah. Um, He's the husband of one of the writers. I had not heard that. I, that's, that's when I, I don't know if it's, I need to look into that. I wouldn't be surprised. Trying to explain his appalling acting. Um, but yes, yes, the show is a bunch of sticky notes and they're probably just random ideas. Yeah, just thrown on the wall. Who cares about how to get from anywhere to anywhere else? I mean, but yeah. that's it. There's no setup to anything. There's no structure to the show. There's no structure to any episode. It's like they haven't done research on the characters they're introducing or their relationship to one another or how they're supposed to contribute to the story. Right. It's just a bunch of scenes. 
How many times have we said that? It's just scenes. It's just things existing. Every show, these shows that we're watching. I don't know. It's been, I, I seem to be saying it more and more often. It's just scenes. Yeah. There's no connective tissue. Reminds me of a song. <laughs> and it's quite, at, no, seriously, we're on a road to, we're on a road to nowhere. Yeah. Because that's yeah. what this show was. It was literally a road to nowhere. They wanted to make, uh, this This is what I get from it. Mm -hmm. I know we're all over the place on this one, folks, but if you think I'm going to watch this again and formulate, you know, uh, some fucking wonderful video, fuck off. <laughs> this, this, show, this show doesn't fucking deserve that. This show um, doesn't deserve it, exactly. Shit, I kind of lost my, my, uh, my, my thread for a second then. But yeah, it's like a, it's a, a road to nowhere. Oh, yeah. It's like a road to nowhere. What this show seemed to be for me is as we just as we have mentioned previously they literally just wrote themselves in a situation that they'd been in in their life and then exaggerated it mm -hmm. for non-comical effect because again how many times did you laugh in this episode none goose egg folks two i did two laughs two chuckles in the whole of the series nine episodes two chuckles and those two chuckles were because they were taking the piss out of jen yeah because she deserved it. So it, it just feels like, oh yeah, I remember at college when I got really drunk and fucked a guy. That's an episode. That's Madison, or whatever she was called. Mm -hmm. That but was one of the writers. It's like, it's like they sat around the writer's table that we saw talking about their lives, putting it on the little notes, selecting a couple of them, throwing them on the wall. And that's the episode. Make sure we get as many insults of men that we can. Every single possible stereotype. Every derogatory you... thing we can say and portray. Because I absolutely agree. Them. But we're also miserable and lonely. Yes. It's like... Um, it's because what? look at the way they treated the, the males in the writer's room. Yeah, oh, there's that. And they're meant to be real life, you know real life i guess it's the men in their world though these are the Subs men in the writer's room mm -hmm. subservient A bunch of yeah yeah subservient betas yeah who will just uh kowtow to whatever uh you're a man what <laughs> other stupid piggish things do you do exactly that's why they're there yeah uh well once I went on a date with a girl. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, I didn't call her back. I am pig! Okay, we'll put that up on the board. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, Jen's, Jen's fucking hell. We're 34 minutes into the video and taking out the one and a half minutes into the episode. No one yeah. minute in the episode made sense. So, no, yeah, you're at, you're an out of control She Hulk. She gets the inhibitor put on her. She gets released. She's fired from her job. Yeah, which she has no money from. <laughs> she hasn't been paid. I guess. I would say, I mean, I'm just completely guessing here. Uh huh. I would say if you're heading up a superhero division and you are a well she's not a superhero she did nothing heroic nothing. in the whole show she's not even a hero they did no hero whatever the tease at the end of the series was uh are you gonna be a hero next season if you get renewed and she's like i don't know maybe <laughs> so if you're heading up a division like that and you're chi hulk so you can turn around and go no yeah. you know Mm -hmm. You can you you would be able to um, negotiate a good deal. I would say she would be on at least four hundred thousand dollars a year. At least, at least. It, I mean, for firms like that, I mean, someone coming in right out of law school would be making one hundred and fifty. Yes. So yeah, definitely. So and yeah, so I think I'm low. I think I'm low balling, but I'm trying to low ball so we can give a low, you know, like a, a low ball guesstimate, which means um, she's getting 
like $45,000 a month <laughs> before taxes. You know, just roughly. I'm just approximating here, folks. You know, 425000 uh, uh, you know, $42,500 a month, let's say. You know, around about some, somewhere around 40, 40K a month. At least. Enough to not be homeless. Enough to be able to buy a house in, well, I don't know, maybe <laughs> LA, you know, okay. Uh, you know, not so, not so much, but not only uh, you can move to the south and buy a mansion. She could, but she's she's uh, that that sounds like something that a responsible person would do. Yeah, move to Texas. <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. Texas would kick her out. <laughs> I'm moving to Texas. No, you're not. Go fuck off. <laughs> fuck out of here. Bringing your fucking stupid fucking intersectional feminism. Oh, fuck off. Oh, or you could just move to Austin. They'll take you. Right. They'll take you. They'll take you all day long. Um. So she's. So how can she be broke on basically forty thousand a month? And how long she had the job? Let's let's even just say she's had the job for two months. Right. Two and a half months. You know the the length of the the series. She's got at least at least eighty k. <sighs> oh my god, but I got student loans at 35. <laughs> uh oh. I don't even believe that. No. But um, even even when people like coming onto TV, like you know, a neighbor who wished to remain anonymous mm -hmm. and all this stuff, and then the guy from the, the first law firm she was in. Well, DA's DA's office. Right. First law firm. The DA's office. Yeah. So again, she's probably pulling down at least hundred to two hundred thousand. Got to be. Oh, well, not maybe not two hundred. Eighty, ninety. Okay, so let's say around hundred. Hundred, yeah. you know, because mm -hmm. uh, she's meant to be like a deputy. You know, she's a deputy district attorney, wasn't she? Yeah. So, um, the guy who was in that law firm that you know the absolutely ridiculously exaggerated misogynist mm -hmm. is on TV saying, yeah, I dated her for a long time and she was fucking a freak then. Right. So why isn't he being sued? They don't know how the law works, I guess. Well, I mean, they not even a guess. They admitted that they don't. <laughs> okay. So let me, again, and he sorry, would know, but You're right. He would have enough sense to know not to go on national television and lie about having had a relationship or even insult her personally that way. But you've just had a group of people just basically say she's a slut <laughs> with some, some terrible footage from behind. So you're not even seeing her, you know, mm -hmm. which isn't great. I'm not, I'm not excusing it. And then she's she's literally smashing and losing her shit over all of that. Mm -hmm. And then this guy who she knew comes onto TV, blatantly lies about them having been in a long term relationship. Right. And she just goes, mm. yeah. She's not bothered about it at all. She's just like, oh well, you know, that's the misogynist guy. So you know, typical guy, I guess. <laughs> She should be upset. She should. She I don't know. should be. She should be upset. Called him. Uh, or there should have been some repercussions for that action. Didn't matter though. Considering she's running around the whole show, just going, "I'm suing. I'm suing every. I'm suing." But it, it wasn't part of any plot. It wasn't part of a story. It was just None to have another is. image of a terrible male. Of him a being a misogynist. Yeah, being yeah. a terrible misogynistic. Yeah. Oh, the press are outside the house. Who cares? So, oh, <laughs> fuck, right. You know, fuck Jen Walters. Fuck this show. Fuck the writers. God, do you know what? I, I absolutely, sorry, Jane. I 100% believe that this is kind of like taken from one of the writers' perspectives where they actually have very nice, loving parents 
Mm-hmm. They say, don't worry, Jen, come move in, in with us. They're both, both the male, the mum and the dad were really supportive. Uh, her mum was just like, yeah, I do have my, you know, uh, exercise equipment in your old room, though. But mm-hmm. I work out at 7 a.m. You should join me. Uh, you know, whatever. And she's just horrible to her parents again. She is. But it's a, this is a pattern, too. This is what we see in all of these shows. Is You don't have a supporting, loving, normal relationship. And that's not to say there wouldn't be some stressors between mother and daughter or whatever. But you... It's always antagonistic. It's always hostile. It's but always they're not being to hostile. Terrible. No, but from her perspective, she's treating them as if they are. Right. So at the end of the episode, when she sat down with her fake ending, with Daredevil and a, you know, and everyone around the table, and she's just like, I'm just Jen, you know, I'm just like a family girl. You're not. No. She resents her family. Yes. She hates, what she, resents, hates, I would say. Yeah. Uh, personally. Uh, and and she's there sure. pretending she's some fucking family gal. Fuck off. Fuck off, Jessica gal. Fucking hell. Jeez. If you think, right, do you know who the, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm on the third. I'm on the third. 42 minutes and I'm on the third. <laughs> do you know who the fucking shittiest Worst, nastiest, narcissistical, fucking selfish character is in this show. Who? <laughs> That's who. <laughs> That's who. Unbelievable. She's horrible. Your main character is. Horrible. It's baffling how out of touch they are. They uh, don't see yes. it. They do not see what we see. You, I, and honestly, Jane, seriously, do you think that is the case? Do you really think that is the case? I think they are that delusional. God, God. I mean, seriously, help us if that is the case. Help us. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, oh no, I got fired. I lost everything because uh, I, I burnt all my money on whore, whoring and, and booze. Uh, maybe I've got a drug problem as well, which the show hasn't addressed. You know, she's keeping it stum. Yeah. But she's got no money, so she's living with her parents now. Oh my God, I thought she sat on a dildo. That was funny. <laughs> it turned out to be a pink dumbbell, but I was like, oh my God, she's just sat on a fucking dumbbell. Her mum comes in here. At 7 a.m. to fucking flick a bean. <laughs> and the worst thing is, I wouldn't have put it past the show, Jane. <laughs> I would not have put it past it. Look at her fucking... <clears throat> she had, uh, you know, Aaron Brockovich. You fucking wish. <laughs> you fucking wish. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy fucking cow. Um, so That's she's like, they yeah. should have watched. Hmm? They should have watched that yes. show for lessons. Yes. Um, I don't think they would have learned anything. <laughs> oh, so what you're saying is I should just be a cow to everyone. No, no, that's no. That no. is not. No. How did you get that from that? Uh yeah, so she's what, 35? Yeah, I guess. As Critical Drinker said in his amazing She Hulk video yesterday, by the way. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> Can I just say, I, I think I might have drinker. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he started off his video by saying, Jesus wept. And that's one of my favorite things. I'm like, oh, did I just rub off the critical drinker? <laughs> uh, that's the narcissist in me, by the way. Just, you know. Um, but it may not. But you know, Drinker did a did a did a great video yesterday on She Hulk. Go check mm-hmm. it out. And he said, you know, she's staring down the barrel of middle age, which she is. Yeah. And uh, this character, who's the uh, a- a- attorney of the year, female attorney of the year, mm-hmm. which turned out to be a participation award, right? Because women are just. Ugh, I hate this show. Do you know what this show is? What is this show? It's misogynistic. Yeah. 
this show is misogynistic. It does women no favors. These women are misogynists as well as misanthrists. Yeah. They hate men and they hate themselves or other women. They hate other women for sure. It's a mental breakdown playing out on on the screen. It, it, it felt like it. It actually felt like it. So this horrible bint starts, uh, you know, I'm trying to put everything together. Well, here in it. Look, it's, it's Hulk King. Why are you? Okay, here's. Yeah. Why are you doing? Wouldn't you just file a lawsuit, hire an investigator to do all of this? Subpoena records from the phone companies, from the internet companies, all in cahoots anyway, and get the information that way? Like, why are you acting like this is a missing person's case? I'll tell you why. Because she's broke. <laughs> and she has no money to actually retain a lawyer. That's... <laughs> That's this cool. is all friends inverted commas, because Nikki said, oh, by the way, I'm keeping my job because I get paid a lot of money. If your paralegal is getting paid a lot of money, then what the fuck are you getting paid? Right. Like we said, at le- got to be at least 450k. At least. So she's hoard and drunk her money away because she's an alcoholic whore. It's all gone. It's all. It's gone. Like the budget for this show. It's all gone. Do you know what they did with that? <laughs> what? Hoard and drunk it away. <laughs> um, yeah, so she can't do any of that, Jane, because she can't hire an attorney. No, she's broke. Because she's got no money. Yeah. And they don't do pro bono work. Mm-mm. She has no friends <laughs> in the legal community, apparently. <laughs> No, they just go on TV and lie about her. <laughs> Which shows uh, what kind of person she is. It's not just that she doesn't have a relationship. She doesn't have e- she doesn't have romantic relationships, but she doesn't have any relationships. No. Well, <laughs> to, <laughs> to have a relationship with somebody, Jane, you have to first develop the characters. Right. <laughs> That's... Unfortunately for this show, there has been virtually zero characterization apart from Jen is a narcissistical alcoholic whore. That's it. <laughs> That's on a sticky GG, note. GG, Jessica Gow. <laughs> and then the show even realizes it because they call her a slut. They know what they are. They just don't have a problem with it. (laughs) They think it's fine. But it's okay for a woman to be a slut. That's fine. You you do what you want to do. I mean, I don't think it's fine. You do what you want to do, but don't get fucking uppity when people judge (laughs) it. I'm just living my best life. I can do what I want. How dare you judge me? Well, you know... (sighs) That's all you do to people. Mm-hmm. You look down at them. You demean them. You don't form any relationships, any true relationship with them. I don't, for one moment, believe that Jen and Nikki are friends. No. There's nothing to tell me that these people are friends and like each other, other than the fact that they both seem to be dependent on alcohol. That's how they bond. Which is superficial. Right. But that's also what this character is. I mean, she exists solely oh. to prop up Jen to affirm her and her foolishness. They all do. Every character does, apart from yeah. Mr. Misogynist. Mm-hmm. Who actually is probably the most based person in the fucking show. Because <laughs> he's the only one that doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. And he's like, I fucked a, I fucked a shape-shifting fairy... Uh, who I thought was uh, Thirsty Stallion. 
and uh, I want my money back. And even though he, they, they made him try to make him look a fool, which didn't work because he didn't give a seems to give a shit at the end of the judgment. Right. He got his money back. He won. <laughs> he won on top. He probably got paid for going on that TV show and saying, yeah, we dated. We don't, we're, we're in a long-term relationship. She was, fucking, <laughs> she was fucking nuts then. This guy's the most based fucking character in the show and they don't even know it. I wonder if it was a lie. She didn't deny it. Actually, you bring up a good point. I, yeah, I was going to bring that up earlier. The, the, the only other reason why she shouldn't didn't have a reaction to it was they did. No. At one point, they did date. Yeah. That we don't know about because the I mean, show doesn't a, do anything is setting up anything, but okay. He's a man in the show, so she probably did sleep with him. It he would be consistent. Probably banged her <laughs> and then dumped her. <laughs> oh, because Jen doesn't seem to go much past the first one night stand. Right. Except in this show where they artificially inserted Daredevil back into it. Yeah, but it was all fake. The whole thing's fake because it didn't make any sense to the characters. So everything, the fake ending was fake and the second fake ending was fake. Right. Because they had no ending because the show was a bunch of drunken, whore Californian (laughs) women who are now writing for Marvel self-inserting them into every single episode of a time they got drunk and fucked. (laughs) But she asked. She was like, can you put him in? No real reason. But just have him in there. That that man who left back to New York, can you just materialize him in his daredevil suit in broad daylight? (sighs) <sighs> hey, do you know another thing? Mm-hmm. People know who She-Hulk and Jen are. They're the one and the same person. Yes. So when Jen starts dating Matt Murdock and she's hanging around with uh, Daredevil. Yeah. Hello? Mm-hmm. They don't care. This isn't about heroes. This is about writing about the time they got fucking drunk and fucked at college. Yeah. Uh, so she's trying to work out by intelligentsia and she's just like, one of these idiots will fuck up soon. And then they just find out that there's a gathering. Intelligentsia having a party? Apparently. A meetup? <laughs> it's a meetup. <laughs> it's a meetup. <laughs> having a meetup and Jordan Peterson's going to be the guest speaker. <laughs> is, oh, we're, not even, we're not even joking. We're not even joking. So uh, this is where Jen shouts at her her lovely mother who took her in Mm -hmm. and her lovely father who took her in. And they said, don't worry, you can stay. We'll feed you. You know, you get Mm -hmm. yourself sorted. This is where she shouts at her mum to get out of her own house (laughs) so she can continue to pursue uh, her narcissistical desire uh, that everything revolves around her. Right. Pathetic. Oh. Goodbye, Mom. I'm suing both of you for emotional distress. For taking for taking her back into their house. This is their character. But she's joking. Yeah. But the thing with Jen is she kind of jokes, not jokes. Yeah, she's not joking. She's being disrespectful and rude to yeah. her parents who, as you said, have taken her in. They didn't have to. No. Nope. They could have asked her, why are you broke? <laughs> why can't you, know you go who, somewhere else? Do you know who's more successful than Jen? Who? In her family. Her brother? Yes. Well, yeah. The one the one who was uh, a DJ mm-hmm. and also got promoted to the manager of the uh, Target or whatever it was. He did. That he's more together than she is. Mm-hmm. And they tried to, in the first or second episode, whichever it was, they tried to make it sound like he's a loser because he became manager of a, a you know, a 
supermarket or whatever it was. Right. It was a combination oh. of that and the idea that he got promoted just because he's a white male. A white male. Yeah. But also promoted in a job, uh, ha-ha, which is beneath them. Right. Because I'm a super-duper lawyer. And you're a manager of a supermarket or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but actually, he's doing that. He's DJing. Uh, he seems to be loving life. Because mm -hmm. every time we see him, he seems to be happy. So he's more together than this broke-ass fucking uh, alcoholic whore. Right. She's the train wreck of the family, clearly. Yes. She is. She is. She is the, she the she's the emotionally broken, irresponsible train wreck who could be something, but is probably too narcissistical uh, to appreciate that, mm -hmm. and so creates her own problems. Yes, like one night constant one night stands with guys you've just met and yeah. haven't got to know. Mm -hmm. And then you break down when they don't call you back or they leave. Right. <laughs> Particularly when you've pretended to be something you're not. Mm hmm But she has no friends to call her out on that behavior. Because they're because... the same. Exactly. Because they're the same. Hey. Yeah. I need to I need to reference my um dms with each other um <laughs> there is a line there is a line where nikki says oh yeah when, when okay i'll get to it i'll get to it i've got it set up ready it's when she sends uh there he is this is uh dennis bukowski mm -hmm. intimate associate associate of jennifer walters aka she hulk <laughs> and let me tell you, she was psycho way before she got those superpowers. I believe you. Of Mr. course she was. Based. <laughs> this man is based. I think he's being honest. I think he's being honest. He might, this, the whole thing is like, the way that she reacts, mm -hmm. can we, can we, might, have, might get hit for this, but uh let's just see the reaction on uh there she's just like shakes her head mm -hmm. does that but no that's it it's so weird so she didn't deny it no she didn't maybe she's horrified that he's on tv exposing her yes <laughs> Because I certainly believe, based off the way that she's acted the whole show, that she was a complete bint and a horrible psycho and bitch beforehand. I mean, we saw how horrible she was to her cousin immediately after she turned. Yes. That was her personality. That's You are absolutely right. That is her personality. <sighs> i got a question for you, Jane. Mm -hmm. How are we? How are we meant to have any empathy for this character? I don't think we can. I don't think we're intended to. Because we're not the right people. Exactly. Ooh. We are not who this is for. Oh no! No. I've done some drunken whoring in my time. But it was at college when I was like 22, 23. Yeah. Not 35. This is perceived by them as liberating. This is why they've been celebrating it as empowerment, as a feminist icon. This reflects their values and their perception of the world. You too can have... Um... No self-worth. Yes. You two can have no dignity whatsoever. She-Hulk. Mm. 
So uh, she goes to lie in a bed because she's a, an unmitigated failure. <laughs> 35, down and out, broke, living with your fucking parents. Uh, can't get any responsibility, no friends. No. Nothing. What a disappointment. But do you know what? That line sums up everything. It's all about her. <laughs> all it's, of it. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's everything else. She has no self awareness whatsoever. Oh. She's such a victim. Poor her. Yeah, she's the victim. This horrible thing. Christ, this video is going to go for years. I'm going to stick 85 adverts in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and she, she, so she texts Smug Hulk. Had to insult him, yeah. <sighs> they just hate. They absolutely, the writers just hate superheroes they hate this universe yes they hate what they do this is a stepping stone this please be a stepping stone to something to my Aaron brockovich which you will never fucking make by the way <laughs> or if you pretend or think you are making it it won't be because <laughs> be you're horrible people oh so she 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 texts Smug Hulk. That look right. Okay, if that is the way that you insert your cousin, mm -hmm. your family into your phone, ah, she's only joking. As stop taking it so seriously. No, <coughs> you don't understand. It matches her character. Right. It matches her character that she feels superior better wants to demean people wants mm -hmm. to belittle people to make her feel better about her fucked up drunken whore life this is true it's just like when when daredevil outdoes her in court and she calls him an a-hole it's this is how she is she cannot it's, accept anyone having any merit or qualities that are positive besides herself Jane, she called him an asshole as soon as he opened, entered the courtroom. Yeah. He opened the door, walked in, and she went, who's this asshole? Just, this is her. That's her. She is a see you next Tuesday. I had to say that. Don't want to get this demonetized because it's going to go on forever, and I'm inserting 85 adverts in it. <laughs> She's a see you next Tuesday. Yeah. A blind dude walks into a, a courtroom and she's like, who's this asshole? He came across as competent, mature. He was competent. Responsible, an adult. He is an adult. <laughs> Do you know what he is? What's that? He's her fucking father. Oh. He's her daddy issues. That she you saw in everyone else but her. That, that is called... <laughs> Projection It is When she started talking about Daddy issue Why do all the male heroes have daddy issues later on I was just like Oh no you fucking didn't You have the biggest fucking daddy issues Of the lot You literally You need a man who's together Mm -hmm. That's why you know you need a man that is together. That's all, because he's got to father you because you are an irresponsible, drunken whore. That's it. And you need daddy to keep you in line. That makes so much sense. Gary says it all the time. Fucking daddy issues with 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 like the women in these these shows. <sighs> Jeez. 
It explains so much. Oh my god. So she's just like, right, I'm just gonna stay at Emil Blonsky's. Now then, why did this go nowhere? Oh my god. So her, her when she was at the house, her mum showed Nikki uh -huh. a quick bit of video footage of Jen at college just being a, again, just being a probably a, a you know, she's at college, fine, whatever. But mm -hmm. she's being Jen. Yeah. Just a drunk. I can't I can't I can't it, as you can't say she's drunk. There's no evidence to say that. Uh, I, actually, I think I think there's in, enough to infer that she was drunk. I think that was what the video was showing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was expecting this to reveal somebody. Oh my god, it's AOC. Is it? It's AOC. Remember when the the video came out of her dancing on the rooftop? No, I missed that. Oh, there's the, the video came out that when she was at like college or just come out of college or something, uh -huh. and she's dancing around on a rooftop. AOC is dancing around on a rooftop. Oh my god! Do you remember that? No. Oh, wait, hold I on, could hold definitely on. see them inserting that hold into on. this. As soon as you put AOC into YouTube, it says AOC dancing. Right. Um, let me just let me just get a thing. Let me just uh, stop this for a second, <laughs> and uh, let's share this AOC dancing. Oh my god! And. We get we get this sort of business. Here she goes again. So there's this thing about it, you know, she was on this rooftop dancing away. Mm -hmm. Uh can we get a little bit more AOC? Oh yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Let's just go here. So that's the sort of thing that we got. Huh. Uh dislikes disabled by the owner. <laughs> comments zero comments. Comments turned off then. Uh for crit but there was, you know, there were some people going, ah, it's fine, or is people criticizing it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what this is. This is a uh, She Hulk dancing like an idiot because they're having a go at all the people that criticized AOC dancing. I can see that. I throw that in. It was on a sticky note, I'm sure. They stuck it on the wall. Oh, is on the that. Yeah. What did what what do you think it said? Did it say Queen? Queen <laughs> AOC. Yes. Our Queen under attack. <sighs> oh, so yeah, I thought this was going to reveal like somebody in the background that linked it together. No, you're writing a better show in your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm trying to connect things together. You can't do uh, that. You can't do that when you just got scenes. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's that. Leads nowhere. Jen turns up at the, the parish, whatever. Well, I don't know, community, commune, whatever. Yeah. Emil Blonsky's place again. Uh, oh, that's the dude that tried to... Uh, Attacker. Yeah, he's yeah. reformed, I guess. I don't know. He gives her a hug. Then suddenly, dipshit and twat waffle. <laughs> they're at this secret meeting for intelligentsia. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because she posts up the that footage onto the intelligentsia website and mm -hmm. immediately. Gets an invite. Hulk King's just like, this is awesome. You're invited to this secret thing. Complete stranger. Yeah. Bro. Bro. Because <laughs> it's all dudes. Because women... Women can't criticize. <laughs> of course not. We don't exist. No. You're a straight... Well, you, you can't talk. You're a straight white man, so sure. I'm a straight white male, yeah. Um... 
So, oh man. I did right. Okay. Holy cow. I got I, I just feel like I need to step away and just walk for a bit. Um Pug. Right. There's something really weird here. <laughs> you know where I'm going. Um, they have a problem with the word female. They do. Uh, they have a word they they act as if the word female yes. is an insult to women. Yes. So this may not be a thing in Europe. Mm -hmm. But in America, uh, feminists have decided that the word female is an insult. And a lot of people believe it's rooted in the fact that it's very particular gender wise. So it doesn't include all women. It only includes biological women. Right. Now then, hold that, that thought. To that, yeah. Hold that thought, because I got this lined up from earlier. <laughs> um, always refer to women as female, says Nikki. Mm -hmm. As if to insinuate males can be women. Yes. I also followed that up with fuck off. <laughs> That's exactly it. Uh, biology says no. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's this mental thing, though. They've convinced women that it's a bad word. No, they've convinced idiots yeah. it's a bad word. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, Tug. Tug? Pug. Pug. <clears throat> yeah. Pug, who is the... Bestest ally. <laughs> this guy. This guy's got no. He's got no personality at all. Empty. Yeah. He's. Empty. He is just a, a an empty vessel. Correct. Uh. He's just. He's just like I can't. I can't call him female. She's like. I don't you know got what to. to say. I don't know you what to do. To. You got to call them female. So he's he, he's receiving, using an apple bud, yeah. earpiece. He's receiving orders from Nikki. And he's like, no, but I can't do it, Nikki. I can't. I can't insult women. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a biologist. I can't insult people who identify as women. <laughs> and she's like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. By the way, you huh. know how I like normally do silly things like that? For comic call purposes. Mm -hmm. No, that was actually real. <laughs> that is that is actually what is going on here. I'm not, I'm not joking. Thing. That isn't me doing one of these exaggerating things for comic call. No. No. That is the context for this conversation. So um Todd's just like, hey, bro, bro. <laughs> bro. Oh, I knew you were one of us. You know, not remotely suspicious that, you know, Jen's one of Jen's inverted commas friends yeah. uh, is there. And he's like, I always knew you were one of us. This guy, this guy's great. He's also really handsome. <laughs> or he's like, he's also really like attractive he's really or something. Hot, right? He's really, yeah, he's really hot. Because Todd's actually gay. Which then says oh. to me, the the creators, the writers, are saying that you know a lot of these like macho presenting mm -hmm. this guy is never presented as fucking macho or masculine at all but these masculine people they're actually closeted homosexuals yeah. and that's why they're mad uh isn't that isn't that bigoted it is they don't see it isn't that really bigoted <laughs> of course they don't see it because men are men are trash isn't that right, Dana? Men are trash. They hate all men, including their male allies. They probably, they hate everything. Pug, we're vibing, man. Yeah, okay, whatever. So Jen is at the compound, and <laughs> she's just like, where's Emil? And he, oh, he's down at the hut doing a speech. <clears throat> so Emil is actually <clears throat> the abomination now. Mm-hmm. And he's Jordan Peterson. He is. 
Literally. He's Jordan Peterson uh, giving the talk to the, the incels mm -hmm. about, you know, you need to be your best person. The meritocracy's bad. Uh, the meritocracy's good, which is bad for them in the show, by the way. Yes. People have to earn their spot. You could do, you know, motivational speech to men. Uh, Jordan Peterson, insert. Be powerful. Be powerful. Yeah, be powerful. <laughs> So Todd then uh and by the way, that's a reference to his be dangerous. Ah, yes, 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 of course. Yeah. Be powerful, be dangerous. Jeez, these people, YouTubers, Jordan Peterson, they live in these people's heads. <laughs> Just live in these fucking broken women's heads. <laughs> Holy shit. It's insane. Maybe they need to leave. Maybe you need to let go of the fucking Coke and the uh, wine. Yeah. And the speed and the amphetamine and the fentanyl. Maybe just, just leave it, you know, so you can function like a human being. Sober up. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, write a passage for somebody there, I think. <laughs> so Todd's like, oh, yeah, I stole your blood. And then he injects it because he says, I earned mine. Because I did this whole elaborate thing to get your blood. I earned this to get turned into a Hulk. Mm. Uh, you didn't. And then the Hulk, then the Hulk bursts in. Yeah. Hold on. Fuck off. This is a very long video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> then the Hulk bursts in, and then there's a little fight. Then Titania bursts in. Right. And starts hitting the men for some reason. I thought she was... And then, then Jen... Sorry, go on, go on, go on. She's never to be seen again. What was... What was all of that with her? Bullshit. Jane, bullshit. <laughs> because Jen just stops the show. Yeah. So this is all crazy. I'm going to stop it. Uh, Jane, I'm going to quickly knit to the loo. <laughs> I've drunk three fucking Red Bull, uh, three fucking things. <laughs> and I'm dying for a piss. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Right. Yeah, that segue, because I had to nip off to the loo. Just drunk a litre and a half of Monster Ripper. <laughs> Uh, so she stops the show. Yeah. It then goes on to the Marvel menu for Disney Plus. It goes on, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, look at this, though. You know, fucking <laughs> dog shit. Uh, Black Panther was terrible. Uh, fucking dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. Oh, Shuri. I'm going to give you a pass because, uh, you're against the vaccinations, good girl. Too bad they're going to wreck her show. Our yeah, show. too bad. Yeah, too bad. You're going to get wrecked in a couple of months next month. But okay. Uh, so she kicks her way out of the window of her show, and then she picks a window to smash through, and now she's in our world. Why is she not being arrested? Isn't she supposed to have on the inhibitor thing? Um, she says, oh, I'm, I'm ripping off the inhibitor before she smashed through. But how can she be arrested? She's not in her world anymore. She's in our world. Oh, that's right. So, she, yeah, this is out. So she's now fourth walled out of her show, which she says, this doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, I agree. No, it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> None of it does. None of it <laughs> You mean this has all been building up to, to, to this? This doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Do you know why? Because it, it never was intended to. You just put oh. drunken whore stories of when you were a drunken whore years ago. Even maybe now. Current stories. Oh and then, God. of course, the men leave you because they're like, why would the fuck would I stay with a drunken whore? She's just there to be fucking used. <laughs> That's not a wife. That's a good time. 
<gasps> and the CGI, anyway. the CGI. Oh, just don't. I mean, I don't know how many times we can say the CGI is just fucking abysmal. No, it's even worse this time. And they even got a six foot seven woman to do the the body, the mocap. Did they? Yeah. Why does it still look so bad? <laughs> well, they joke in a moment about, can you switch back to Jen? Because we don't have the budget to yeah, keep your yeah. She-Hulk. And I'm like, I know that that's meant to be a joke, which isn't funny, because right. none of it's funny. But I think it's probably, you know, budget-wise, when they were budgeting <laughs> the show, they were kind of like, you know, we've only got enough budget for this, so you've got to be quite sparing when you use... Oh, it's... Yeah, the truth. But again, as Drinker said in his She-Hulk video yesterday, which is great, go check it out. It was just like, she just walks down the corridor like it's a fucking PS2 character. Just so janky. Yes. And then uh, the lip sync isn't there at all, which is, again, correct. The lips and the yeah. and the and and what's being said do not marry together most of the time. It's just... Ugh. Bruce Lee shit. Uh, man one, so tell me about the Infinity Gun. It's amazing. Oh, shut up. Uh, so she walks down. This is probably, I don't know. This actually might be exactly where they are in, in Marvel. I don't know. It, it in may Disney. Be. It may be. Because I think some of it was shot in actually, you know, in, in the Disney offices. They run out of budget for a set. So it's just like, we'll just do it here. Yeah. So this is the uh, She-Hulk writer's room. Mm -hmm. That lovely lady is Jessica Gow, showrunner of She-Hulk, writer of Trash. Mm. Holy fuck. I'm going to guess your name is Karen. <laughs> Hey, Jane. Yeah. I'm just going to throw it out there. <laughs> I think I understand why this show's fucking dog shit. <laughs> I think it's obvious. Yeah. I think I get it. We thought it'd be like really cool and like unexpected. The fact that you couldn't create an ending for your show is not unexpected at all. No. Because I think one thing we have been saying, Jane, throughout this whole process, as well as other people have been doing She-Hulk videos, mm -hmm. is this is going nowhere. <sighs> nothing is happening. Nothing is going on. Where is this going? Because it's going nowhere. Well, we said that. But I, for I don't know what reason, thought for sure. They would make an effort. They would at least try to bring it home in the last episode. No? No. I'm going to no. have to disagree with you here, Jane. Do you know why? Why? Uh, because nothing connected. <laughs> you know, to bring it home, you've got to have some connective tissue. It's got to relate to something. There's got to be some stakes. Right. There's got to be something. Now, we know that the blood had been stolen and we knew about intelligentsia mm -hmm. and titania was out there well she she was nothing titania it was quite apparent that titania was just a throwaway character that had no substance no plan other no to point. be i don't like she hulk why why you you're you're, you're s successful you know, you're this this superhuman influencer. Yeah. 
and you do you know marketing campaigns and all this stuff and you you know how to to garner an audience because you had people queuing outside for your perfume and all this sort mm -hmm. of shit this is a drunken whore <laughs> with no life with with completely irresponsible shit at a job and yeah. then gets angry that she gets a participation trophy because she thinks she deserves a legitimate one for being shit at her job. Yeah. Maybe because she's got a vagina. So it's her God-given right as a white woman to be fucking parade given everything. Which wouldn't fucking surprise me in these, these quarters. <sighs> oh. So no, Jane. Sorry to do. I, you know, love you. Well, remember we were concerned it would be a longer episode. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I said I'm really worried that this is going to be like 45 minutes because they're going to have all this stuff. Yeah. No, this was like 26. Yeah, they didn't care. About 26, maybe <laughs> 26 ish. Yeah. The they were just like, note. oh no. Whoa! She fucking stops the episode. Halfway through, less you know, just just slightly over halfway through, just like nah, <laughs> nah, nothing. Look here, look episode eight. No, just fucking notes. Nothing fucking you know. Nothing seems to link to anything. This is your storyboard. <laughs> no, do you know what this is? That's the script. <laughs> That's the script. That's just the script. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so uh Jen shouts at a man. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's a better view. Mm. Uh that dude there is a fucking waste of space. Yeah. What is this guy doing talking? Well, she gets mad because he's talking. So Right, it. right. This guy's just stood here. I don't know if he actually says anything, to be honest. He's in the Olindo position. <laughs> just stand back. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and be completely inoffensive. Be seen and not heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know who shouldn't be heard? Fucking Galadriel. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> You got snacks. You got the snacks. Mm -hmm. Every bottle here has got fucking gin and tonic in it. Everyone. Oh yeah. Jessica fucking Gal. Fuck me. How did she pitch this? Like, I wanted to show <laughs> that, like, just says how trash men are, and just how our fans that criticize Marvel, they're trash as well. Because it's only men. Because women don't have an issue with <laughs> half of their stuff. I think I beg to differ on that one. Yeah, you? definitely. If you... I don't know this is superficial. <laughs> but if you said, hey, you brought me into a room and said, hey, as these people, uh, they're going to be your superhero team to write your superhero uh, TV show. I'd be mm -hmm. like, oh, great. Uh, hi guys, you're all fired. Yeah, you're all fired. Okay. Out. No, 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 right. No disrespect. Yeah. She don't look like she's fucking watched a, a superhero show in her life. Nor her, nor her, nor Jessica Gow. Just kidding. We know Jessica Gow hasn't. No, she hates. Nor him. her. Nor her. Even this guy, I'm fucking worried about. Definitely not this guy. This guy knows. Uh, he thinks it's Captain Iron Man. <laughs> These are the oh, allies. This... The feminists and the allies. That's it. This guy's definitely an ally. That guy's <laughs> definitely an ally. Uh, this guy is 1,000% an ally. <laughs> and a possible sex. He's apologizing. That's a joke. That's a room. joke. Yeah. Well... He gave up his seat 
<laughs> even though there's plenty of seats. <laughs> I want to give up my seat for one of the ladies. Um, there's plenty of seats for you to sit down. I know. <laughs> That's how much of an ally I am. Oh, jeez. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, my God. LGBT Club Plus has QIA. You wanted to do two, two AAAs. Of course. Oh, you look, you're, you look exactly how I feel. <laughs> I know who this is. I can't I remember her name. Rainbows. Hmm? I, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> when you've been in this game for a while, you pick him up very quickly. <laughs> uh, act one, two, and three. Five <laughs> minutes, six minutes, four minutes. Oh. I want to buy this on 4K and zoom in on these notes. That'll be a video in and of itself, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. So uh, She-Hulk's just like, I don't like this. None of this makes sense. Correct. Damn it's it. stupid. Why are these people here? Why did Bruce suddenly just turn up? Why did Titania just turn up? Kevin, uh, not Kevin, Todd, injecting himself with the blood and turning into another Hulk. Boring. And I was, you know, it when it's the whole show, on, the whole show oh, was boring. But last week, you know, she told us that there wasn't going to be a Red Hulk. And we kind of thought that the blood was going to be because it was going to be a Red Hulk. Mm -hmm. No, it, whatever you think makes sense for the show, it, it's not in it. No, it, it's not. You've thought of something that the writers have not considered, including. Yeah. And the subtitles gave away the Kevin thing, by the way. Because <laughs> she says I'm going to speak to Kevin now, but they kept referring to it as K in capital letters, uh -huh. K dot I dot V, you know. Yeah. <laughs> K dot E dot V dot I dot N. So I was like, oh, so Kevin's going to be a robot. And it mm. turned out to be a robot. It did. So, um, <sighs> So Jen says, oh, well, I, uh, you know, let's change the story. And he said, we can't change the story. Only, only Kevin can do that. Obviously referring to Kevin Feige. <clears throat> and Jen says, well, let me talk to Kevin. And then he all start laughing as if to say, nobody gets to talk to Kevin. I believe them. <laughs> I believe them. I don't think Kevin Feige was flying fucking shit. What's going on right now? Yeah. Um, so she goes to Marvel Studios to speak to Kevin. To speak to Kevin, first of all. The first thing you got to do is sign an NDA. It's an in-joke. Because mm -hmm. you probably have to sign an NDA when you go to speak to Kevin Feige. Right. This is where they begin to expose themselves even yeah. more. Yes. This isn't funny. This isn't funny stuff. You just, you're literally showing us how fucking crazy you are right now. And how yes. crazy and fucking convoluted and stupid this whole fucking process is that's led to a dog shit show mm -hmm. about an alcoholic whore. That's it. <laughs> so he, she signs the NDA and then he just, he, he triggers the alarm because she hulks in the real world. Right. A woman tries to jump on her. She throws her away. Men try to jump on her. She punches them miles. He kills these people. <laughs> yeah. They have to be dead. This guy does. He she's like smashes him into the wall and then sticks his head uh into the, the eye retina thing to let to let yes. them in. She's oh, a no. villain. Of course she is. She's a she's a horrible bitch. <laughs> From episode one to now, she's a self-centered, narcissistical, horrible, disgusting, self-absorbed, alcoholic. Or with zero responsibility in her life. <laughs> it's empowering. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, look, it's Kevin Feige. Look, he's even got the cap, which looks like the Kevin, you know, because Kevin Feige wears caps. Because yeah, he's just cap. like me, 
bald. <laughs> but he has to wear a cap on the majority of the time because he's bald and very sensitive about it. Oh. Kevin, you have more money than Jesus Christ could ever muster, and he can perform miracles. Uh, just have a hair transplant if it's so bothering to you. Well, but, but they're when all you walk here. That's hey? the problem. Well, they're all insecure. Of course they are. They're all insecure. But oh, sorry, I'm manicuring myself because I'm so fucked up. <laughs> um, so oh, this is funny. This is K dot e dot v dot i dot n and it's uh, and it stands for go fuck yourself marvel <laughs> uh it stands for knowledge enhanced visual interconnectivity nexus the mc the mcu's a mess the mcu's a convoluted mess and phase four is trash intersectional feminist trash from start to finish. And they're showing us why. Yeah. Yeah. They pull back the curtain. <laughs> they pull back the fucking curtain, man. Fucking hell. Uh, so Jen's just like, this is not how it should go down. This is how I want it to go down. Bruce shouldn't be there. What's Titania doing there? Kevin shouldn't, uh, Todd shouldn't be a Hulk. Get rid of that. I'm going to write my own ending. Yes, I'm going to write my own ending. Yeah. The cinematic universe is known for intersectional feminism. Yes, we know. <laughs> People, what does she say here? Hold on, hold on. I, need to, I want to get this. <laughs> the cinematic universe is known for high stakes, big plot lines. Uh, but it's often said that Marvel movies all end the same way. Who says that? Well, they, they are such a formula right now. It's convey about trash. Uh, those are my stakes, Kevin. My family. No, oh, they're not. Since when? They're not at all. <laughs> and I want Daredevil back. Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. does she say? What does she say? She says something <laughs> like, I'm Jen, something, something. And sometimes I bang Matt Murdock or something. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, so her her perfect ending, by the way, which is Todd being arrested for what? Posting a sex tape online? I guess conspiring with the guy who posted who gave him the revenge porn type thing i'm sure there are laws against that maybe oh well, i guess if she just wasn't a whore it wouldn't have happened in the first place well, there is that. <laughs> they hacked her phone yeah well he didn't but he, he received didn't. incriminating stuff like, yeah. i guess they could not reco it but you know what i mean yeah it's conspiracy conspiracy yeah so Todd's crying now because uh, he's a man. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm just going <laughs> to uh, I'll get you, She-Hulk. Daredevil just turns up because that's what she wanted. Just dropped in. Yeah. Yeah. Out of nowhere, because she's created her own ending. Yeah. Which is fake. Yeah. So Matt didn't want to be here. He was made to be there. Correct. Yeah. Do they not understand? She can't get a man to be with her of their own volition. <laughs> She has to force, force a man to be there. Yes. I this need to force a relationship. This entire ending is forced. Yes. It's, it's 
they don't live in reality. They live in a fantasy no. world. But this Emil's is their ideal. Back. Their ideal is to be able to position people where they want without mm-hmm. having to go through the work of actually developing relationships. Perfect. Perfect. We are, we are we are literally creating the ending without actually developing the stakes, mm-hmm. the storyline, mm-hmm. the development of character, or anything that would allow it to make sense. Right. They just want their ending. The end result. Who cares how you get there? We have to end the show. <laughs> we have to end the show. So we will just make an ending. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> so Emil's going back to prison for 10 years for breaking his parole mm-hmm. uh, conditions for turning into uh, abomination. Don't worry. means nothing. In a minute. Don't worry about she it. She didn't break her parole, though. Uh, yes, she did. <laughs> no accountability for her. No accountability for her. Jesus. I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> Do they... No. <laughs> no, they don't. Do- no, <laughs> you're right. You're right. No. So then we have this family together with Matt having good time. She's smiling. Everyone's happy. Uh, this isn't her family. This was not earned. No. No. Every time we have seen her with her family up until now, she's been dismissive of them, mm-hmm. disrespectful of them, doesn't want to be there. No. Feels that they're a burden on her. But now, because they needed ending, made up ending, right. that Jenna's made up, because she spoke to, to fucking fake Kevin, everyone's suddenly happy hunky-dory. Oh, oh and I is- love the way... Sorry, sorry, Jane. But I love the way that they were trying to get how much money Matt earns. Yeah. Uh, because he's, you know, if he's going to be with her daughter, uh, then, uh, you know, you gotta, you got to pay for everything because she's broke. <laughs> exactly. Can you take her off our hands? Yeah. Do you have any money? Because she's an irresponsible alcoholic whore. And she has no money. Uh, where it's gone, don't know. Probably mm-hmm. on booze and whoring. But we don't know where the money is gone. Couldn't keep her apartment going when she got fired for more than a couple of days by the looks of it. <laughs> that makes sense because there's no, you know, why have a why have a time scale progression? No. That takes work. <clears throat> wow, the rings of power know that. <laughs> Woo! There's a fucking show that doesn't know anything chronological. But I was wondering if this was all a delusion. It is, it is. No, but she's still in jail. No, she's on her back, drunk, getting plowed by some one, some guy she just met. (laughs) She's so out of it, drugged up, probably, (laughs) uh, uh, drunk as a skunk, just met this dude. She's just there like, uh, with this going on his head as he's just fucking grinding on top of her. That is more realistic, Jane, based off what we've seen in this show. It it would be much more consistent with her character. It would. And if you think we're being harsh, (laughs) you ain't watched this shit. We have. (sighs) Oh, family, family. Everyone smiles. Everyone fancies Matt? Probably. Yeah, our aunt was coming on to him. Yeah. There's a suspicious amount of women in the okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> everyone smile, everyone be nice. Jen's actually wearing a dress that fits for the first time this whole season. <laughs> Matt's just like, oh, and then Hulk turns up and says, This is my son. I didn't care. I'm Did just you? saying. Oh. Was that supposed to be a big reveal? I 
I didn't care. Didn't care. He could he, that could, he could have said this is my boyfriend. I wouldn't have cared. <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't. <laughs> this is my new boyfriend. Oh, okay. Whatever. At least it makes sense. You can bang each other without killing one another. <laughs> so that's good, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Mm. Um, yeah, this is my son. Whatever. She Hulk, the super bad human woman cousin of the Hulk. People like Todd Phillips have to be held responsible for their actions, but I don't. Right. But I don't. And if you criticize us, YouTubers, we're coming for you. <laughs> the difficult diva of law herself. Written by Jessica <sighs> Shite. Oh, hold on. Let's just go to the the end credit scene, folks. Oh, gosh. And it's a meal. He's in his prison cell. And then Wong breaks him out and takes him to Kumatage. Yeah. And they discuss the accommodations. Uh, is it like an open fridge? Or uh, <laughs> is the Wi-Fi? Yeah, there's Wi-Fi. I I didn't laugh at all. No, it wasn't. It was just bizarre. Stupid. I cannot believe what I just watched. This is one of the most embarrassing things I have ever had the misfortune to watch. Um, the eight, the the big question that's always posed to me in every video is: as is this worse than than Batwoman? The answer is yes. Somehow they because don't. sorry. At least Batwoman has the courtesy to show a lot of cleavage on the women. <laughs> Even though it's 20 minutes longer. <laughs> and uh, other than that, I mean, at least Batwoman can, when I say competently, put the, at least things have connective <laughs> tissues, even if it's shit. There was a story. Yeah. <laughs> I, Jane, it's so. Oh my God, I feel like I want to cry. It's over. I'm. Yeah. It's over. Thank goodness. Um. What, Jane, would you give this episode out what? of 10? Was it even really an episode? I, I don't even know what to call this. I don't. I have no fucking idea what this was. Uh, I'm just going to say zero out of ten. Okay. I'm going to give this minus infinity. <laughs> minus infinity out of ten. Because this show wasn't just dog shit. It was pathetic. It was written by child-minded, vindictive, nasty, scorned women mm. who hate men, hate women, probably hate themselves. Absolutely. Who certainly hate superheroes, who certainly hate geekdom, who certainly hate their audience. They're just full of nothing but vile hatred, poison, toxicity, all the words that they like to project on other people. Mm -hmm. It's an embarrassment, an embarrassment to Marvel, an embarrassment to television, an embarrassment to writing, acting, characterization, screenplay, cinematography, and everything else that goes under that bracket. Editing, etc., etc., etc. If this gets renewed for a second season, I am moving into a fucking mansion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I hope you double down. I really, really hope that you double down because I would love, love another go at another season of this shit. Because I know that they will 
not just double down on the mm -hmm. on the show, but they'll double down on the mission tree. They'll double down on the uh, intersectional feminism. They will try and say, oh, we're going to really go for you this time. And you will only do one thing, embarrass yourself further, mm -hmm. because you are actually talentless. Complete and utterly talentless. And you are proving every time that a show like this comes out why the meritocracy is so important because the way that this has been put together mm -hmm. and the amount of people that were in that room, you are nothing but fucking box ticks. That's all you are. Because clearly none of all those wonderful minds have done anything to construct anything remotely competent. No, they're telling on themselves. Yes. This was a vanity yes, project, are. period. It, it, there was never going to be a story. Oh, I'd say it's a narcissist project, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Jane, it's been absolutely wonderful to do another show with you. This has been so much fun. <laughs> Not so the show, sorry. but the, this yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry that, you know, you have to do this at ridiculous o'clock in the morning, and <laughs> I'm doing this at, well, not ridiculous o'clock, but, uh, you know. Uh... Thank you so much. You are um, you are legit amazing for a Aww. fucking cis hetero normative white guy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Talk about telling on them yourself by ankle biters. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Read the title. Look at the thumbnail. That's it. Just let's let's let you know. Don't even realize. I don't know. They don't realize it. They don't. No. No, not at all. Um, thank mm -hmm. you. We gotta do something again soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hopefully at a, a more appropriate time for you. <laughs> uh, but you as you're legit awesome. Jane's link as ever is in the description box down below. Subscribe to Jane Theory. Yeah. Uh her videos are absolutely awesome. Jane's uh I think you know. I I think you're one of these content creators that uh, legitimately deserve way more, oh. uh, way more attention. That uh, you know, I know stuff's building, growing nicely. It's growing. It's growing. Um, it's exciting. You know, and I hope you know. I hope it really kind of explodes because uh, you certainly deserve it too. Thank you. Uh, you really do. And um, yeah, it's good to have somebody with their own mind, their own thoughts. Mm hmm. And you're fucking harsher than me. <laughs> uh, thank you to everyone who's gone down this journey with us. I know this episode's nearly two hours long. Yeah. Uh, and I know there's some heavy pauses in here, but I'm emotionally destroyed uh, by <laughs> how pathetic this is. I literally cannot believe the level of incompetence on display with a billion trillion dollar company in Disney. And this is the best that you can give us right now. Maybe you should go back to entertaining instead of uh, putting a bunch of uh, broken intersectional feminists in charge of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I know you're not, but I just thought I'd say it anyway. Uh, we will see you soon in something. Yeah. Until then, you take care. Bye for now. Bye.